Thank you for calling Internal Revenue Service. This is Officer Charlie Johnson. How can I help you? Um, yes. Hi, Officer Charlie Johnson. Um, I got some sort of message here, recorded message to call this number back. Okay, sir. So when did you get a call from my department? Uh, I'm not sure at the time that it came in. Um, probably within the past hour or so. Okay. Is this same number that you got a message from my department? Um, yeah, this is my only phone number. Okay. In order to pull up your record in my system, may I have your first name and last name with zip code, sir? Um, yeah, my first name is Neil. N-E-I-L. N-E-I-L. Yeah, and I'll spell my last name for you. It's capital A. N as in okay. Nancy. Okay. B as in boy. Mm -hmm. L as in Lima. Mm -hmm. O as in Oscar. Okay. W as in W. Mm -hmm. M as in Mary. Okay. E as in Echo. It's pronounced and blow me. Okay. Neil and blow me. Okay. And what's your street address, sir? My street address is number 26. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll spell it for you. It's D as in David. Okay. U as an umbrella. Mm -hmm. M as in Mary. Mm -hmm. P as okay. in Paul. Mm -hmm. H as in Henry. Mm -hmm. U as an umbrella. And K mm -hmm. as in kangaroo. Okay. That's yeah. That's twenty six Dumbfuck Avenue. Twenty six Dumb Dumbfuck Avenue. And zip code? Uh three zero five one eight. Okay. Just stay on a line. Be on a hold. Let me pull out your record, sir. Yes, sir. Well, sir, the reason behind the call is to take down your lawyer's information as there is a lawsuit files against your name by the IRS regarding tax evasion. So may I know, do you have any criminal lawyer who can represent you into the courthouse? I'm sorry, you're calling for my lawyer's information because there's a lawsuit? Yeah, there is a lawsuit files against your name by the oh, IRS I'm regarding sorry, a, tax a lo evasion. A lawsuit? Yeah. Um, I don't have an attorney. No, I don't. I don't. I never had to use an attorney. Don't tell me that you don't have any idea what I'm talking about. Aren't you been brief about this case before? Oh no, this is my first time. I don't know what's going on, sir. I, 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 now, who am I talking to, and who are you? Sir, you reach Criminal Investigation Division of Internal Revenue. Service, my name is Officer Charlie Johnson with my federal batch ID IRM 26104196. Uh, hold on, uh, what, what, was your, what was your bitch ID number again? Sure, sure, sure. Now, first of all, can you please grab a pen and a paper so yes. I can give you some information about your case? I, Just I, let me know you when said, you are ready. Yes, I have your name as Charlie Johnson. Yeah. And what did you say your bitch ID number is again? IRM stands for Internal Revenue Member. Okay. I two six one zero. Two six one zero. Four one nine six. Four one nine six. Okay. Now, 
Okay, and the last and the most important is your case number. Start with the alphabet A, A as an apple. A as an apple. C as in Charlie. C as in Charlie. One one four seven four. This one one four seven four. Four seven four. Right. One one right. Right. Double one. Double one. It's two times one. Two times one. Yeah. Okay. Is two. Right. Now before I pro okay. Now before I proceed with your case paper, I want to notify you that these lines are being recorded and monitored by the officer of IRS, attorneys general's officer, and the jury members of courthouse. So do not interrupt me and listen to me very carefully. Once I complete my part, I will give you a fair enough chance to speak and raise your questions. Okay? Um. Okay. Now we have received a legal notice against your name for tax fraud, which means we have done an audit on your tax filing between the year of 2012 to 2017, and we found out something unusual under the calculation of your tax filing. We found out. Uh. What What years did you say? Sorry, what years did you say? We what, found out what that year? the duration of this five years, 2012 to 2017. Okay. I have it. Yes. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, are you there, sir? Can you hear oh, me? Oh yes, I can hear you. I I I couldn't hear you there for a second. Now it is claimed that it has been unpaid or it was a miscalculation. The IRS have also found that you are a regular taxpayer, and depending on that, the IRS also discovered that this was not a result of an innocent mistake, but it was a willfully act done with the. Intend to defraud with the IRS, and as you know, sir, that any crime against IRS is crime against country, and any crime against country it's not a tolerable. So now, under this statement, which has been proclaimed by the higher commissions, they are placing four serious allegations under your name. The four serious allegations are coming under Chapter 13, with under Section 21A. The four serious allegations which will be placed against you in the courthouse: count one, violation of federal tax regulation; count two, violation of Internal Revenue Code; count three, theft by deception; count four. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. What was that? Did you just say theft? Theft by deception? Yeah. I, I count four, willful. I, I didn't willful steal anything. Representation of information. Sorry, I never stole anything in my life. I don't steal. You said theft, theft. Did you say theft yeah, or theft? Yeah, theft by deception. Theft by deception, right? Theft by, de yeah, right. I've never theft the anybody. The four serious allegations. I I've never had I've never theft anybody. I've never had a theft. I I don't know. So first of all, before I start with your case paper, I want to tell you that these lines are being recorded and monitored by the officer of IRS, attorneys general's officer, and the jury members of courthouse. What a, is the bar so council? The bar council listening to? Attorneys general's officer and the jury members of courthouse. Okay. So. Do not interrupt me and listen to me very carefully. Once I complete my part, I will give you a fair enough chance to speak and raise your questions. Okay? Yes, sir. Don't interrupt me. First of all, I want to complete my part. Now, sir, if I am talking about tax evasion, it means intentionally conduct to defend the income tax law, and tax evasion is a felony and the most serious type of a crime. The maximum prison sentence is of a five year. and the maximum fine is up to 75 to 80000 dollars so at this point of time the irs have decided to forcefully recollect the amount from you by the involving the internal revenue code 6331h against you h this means that did, did you say h 631h and you know the yeah 6331h and you know the meaning of 6331h internal revenue code
No, I don't know what's what do you say six three three one etch? Yeah. No, I don't know. This means that the IRS will be taking a legal course of action by taking this matter to the courthouse. The courthouse? Yeah. You shall be arrested on a non non bailable warrant and take into the custody for 72 hours. How much money? How much do I owe? $3,950. Hold on. $3,950? Hold on. $3, yeah, this is your miscalculation amount. Is that including pending taxes, fees, and late fees? And penalties and all charges, including in this it, amount. So, all right, so it's $3,950 even? Right. Yeah, right. No sense? No, sir. Okay. There are two, see sir, there are two options I can see on your case file. You can hire yourself a good criminal lawyer and dispute the matter into the courthouse. Or uh, for the second option, I'm not an authorized person to provide you the option for resolvement. But you can hire, ha, you can request to my higher authorities, they will for resolve this case. So you tell me you want to resolve this case outside of the courthouse or you want to dispute the matter into the courthouse? Uh, what do you want to do? I want to know your intention right now. I, I don't want to go to the courthouse. They don't sweep the floors and it stinks and there's shit all over the walls there. I don't want to go to the courthouse. So I'd like to settle this outside of the courthouse. Okay, and the last and the most important thing, once our conversation is over, I will be forward your document to the local IRS office in your area as well as the sheriff department. So once the officer visit your mailing address, they will give you all the paperwork, all the documents and all the audit file from the year of 2012 to 2017. And after that, they will take you into the custody. What? What do you and mean take me into custody? You? I don't understand. How do if I you pay? Found innocent, you... Do I just go to the Please, IRS first of office? All, let me complete. First of all, com let me just complete. If you found innocent, you can shoot the IRS for whatsoever amount you want. But if you found guilty inside of the courthouse, federal claim courthouse, you will be pay the penalty charges up to eighty five to ninety thousand dollars. Wait, ninety thousand dollars for for thirty three thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars? That seems a little extreme. Yeah, if you feel gil if you feel guilty inside of the federal courthouse. I don't want to be guilty in the federal courthouse. So what do you want to do? You want to resolve this matter outside of the courthouse or uh, you want to dispute the matter into the courthouse? What well, do you want I, to do? I, I'd like to settle this outside of the courthouse if possible. But how you resolve this matter outside of the courthouse? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. What are my options? Just stay on a line. I will transfer your call to my higher authorities for your better help. Okay, if you want to resolve this matter outside of the courthouse, well, so you can request and to my higher authorities, they will help you. Okay? Can I ask you a question? Just stay on a line. Yeah, sure. Did your mother raise a chutia? Huh? Teddy Maki Chut. Same to you, bro. You can do. Same to you. Teddy Maki Bosera Gandu Chutia Marachod. Bosrike Gandu Chutia Benchod. Same to you. You're a Bihari beggar. You're a Bihari beggar boy. Same. Same to you. You are a Bihari piece of shit. Beggar. And I'll call you again and again. I know that. I will call you again and again. I know that you are doing a dress. Sure, do want to do. 
I know that you are doing a trespass with me. It's not, what do you mean a trespass? You're working as a little shitbag scammer because you're poor and you can't feed yourself, mm -hmm. so you're a little beggar boy. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yeah, you're you're Bihari, you're a chut, tum chor ho, rani kibacha, gandu, and he hung up. Little piece of shit. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that, um, little motherfucker, huh? They always go running away. They can't handle the heat, so they go running away like a little little pussy boy that he is. Yes, you have reached Internal Revenue Service. This is Officer William Cowder. Who can I help you today? Yes, hello. Uh, I was um, just talking to Officer Charlie Johnson. Charlie Johnson. Yes, uh -huh. and, and he said that you're a piece of shit from Nagaland. That's what he said. What are you talking about? Charlie Johnson with badge number ID IRM 26104164 told me to call you and said that you're from Nagaland and you're a piece of shit. Okay, I believe uh, you got the wrong number. You have a question? No, guess. no, I got the right number, Matichod. No. What are you talking about? You need to go back to Moko Chung right now, or Kohima, or whatever part of the Nagaland you're coming from, and go and go and eat the rats. <laughs> I'm sorry. You need to go right now because the little doggy is up there and he wants you to barbecue him. Mm -hmm. You wanna have that? Because you are a little motherfucker scammer. That you are. You are a scammer. No. no. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? How can you say no? No. How can you say no? I can no? say no. I'm not a scammer. Then what are you? Then what are you? I'm just an ooh. You're just what? A poor, a poor beggar? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. No, not, I'm not a beggar. I think you're a beggar. No, how can you say that? Because you I'm call Americans, you say, Oh, please, I'm going to fool you, give me the money. So you're a little beggar. Mm-hmm. You're a beggar. Mm-hmm. You're a thief. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything to say? Yes, yeah, so you make your tribe look very bad. Your tribe is ashamed of mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what tribe are you? Mo what tribe yeah, are you? Lota? Yeah. Uh, uh, Nagami? What tribe? They don't have any idea about me. What tribe, huh? Go eat your dog. Roof, 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 <laughs> roof. <laughs> you like to eat the dog, right? Because you're from Naga? You, you like the dog? You sound like that. You sound like dog. What is this, your first day on the job or second day? How long have you been scamming? Not long. It has, it has been a year. A year? Can you talk like that? Yes. It, your your yes. English your English is horrible. Uh-huh. You can't speak English. Well, well, how can you scam if you can't speak English? What are you talking about? Why, why, why are you working with the Hindus? You don't like the Hindus. Why are you working with them? You're from Nagaland. Yes. Yeah, why do you work with them if you don't like them? But I don't have... Why? And I don't have, I don't have a way out. You have a way out. You don't tell me you don't have a way no. out. No. Just leave. Go back I home. Not, I... I, I I have a financial problem. You have a what problem? A financial problem. So do I. Money problem. I do too. Financial yes, problem. Yes, I do too. I am. I have a financial problem too. Yes, I do. That's. But I don't steal. Yes. I live yeah, very I know that meagerly. Not a, I know that. Uh, I know that it's not a good job. 
I know. It's not the right job. I know. So what are you going to do? Are you going to give up? Yes, I, I'm thinking about that. I, was, I have a doubt about that. You have to, man, because you. what kind of future? You have no future. Yes. Just think, all the time that you spent working for this company, you could have been spending good time working an honest job. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll be great. I'll be great for uh, after I don't know next month. I'll be getting this job for next month. You have to, man. You got no. This no. You're not gonna go anywhere, man. You want to have a family. You want to have a life. You want to have good things. And you're not gonna get mm -hmm. it by doing this. Yes, I'll be getting next uh, by next month. I hope so. Take your salary and go back to go back to Nagaland. Where are you? Are you in Mumbai now? Or are you in New Delhi? Yes. In, yes. In New Delhi? Yeah? Yes. That's a long way. That's a long ride on a train. Yes. Well, how many days? Three days? Well, four days? Yeah. Three days. Oh, that's three days? Stinky train. Okay. Alright, well, I hope you can go back to Nagaland, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, probably could be bad by it next time. I hope so. I hope so. Alright. Okay, well, sir, thank you so much. What do we, thank you so much about that. Alright. Okay. okay. God you, bless go you. You, you go have a good yeah, life. Yeah. Alright, go have a good life, okay? Okay. Okay. Right. okay. You have a great day. Alright, bye. Well, people, as you can see, telephone calls can go in weird ways. Abuse to telling me that he's poor and telling me God bless you and I don't know scammers are, are a weird bunch of people and I think that they're all rookies he hasn't been doing that for a year because his English is horrible so everybody if you enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment and uh yeah treat everybody the way you want to be treated and life will be good bye